Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Subnautica. Upon loading my file back up, we have a radio message after all, which is sweet because that's a waypoint. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Huh? The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup well, one and a half board, kilometers captain. southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Sweet. Our first Seamoth mission. It's so awesome, dude. I want my own little submarine thing. Stick to the surface and do dolphin jumps. Because it's fun. And there's less dangers near the top of the water. Plus... If you look at the 200 in yellow font in the middle of the screen, that's as many meters as we can go in this thing before the pressure just destroys the whole of it. So yeah, this is definitely the furthest. I think it's actually a deeper thing. Yeah, this is Life Pod 19, right? I reef back. That's so creepy, dude. Those things will never stop creeping me out. Friendly or not. Yeah, playing on my own time when I got to this, I was like, just terrified what might spawn in, because you can't see a thing. It's just staring at this waypoint. But wait, that means... Hold on, I remember this. I kept trying to go down that crater right there, and somewhere around here, there is a wreck with a lot of good stuff. It must be all this. I love the safety of this little personal submarine. It's awesome. Yeah, I think this is new. Maybe it's not. It is. Thermal plant. That converts heat into energy, I think. This is another power source instead of a solar panel or whatever. Which I think we might get to that this time. Yes, we will, if we can find all of this. This is the moon pool, remember? It only requires two. There's gotta be, that's right. And there's something for the prawn suit over here, I think. Just remembering, like I said, from my time playing before I started doing the Let's Play. I think I see the exact thing we just scanned. That would be awesome if we get the moon pool because we know that's what we need to keep the Seamoth charged. Yes, we got it. New blueprint acquired. Right, Any more would just be titanium. A desk. At some point, we'll have the multi purpose room. We can make an office out of it or whatever. New blueprint Man, there's acquired. a lot of moon pool stuff here. Plant. Will this complete it? Or was this three? I did forget already. That's it. This is like the second coolest part of the game, besides the exploration itself and all the cool submarine things. It's just building up your base. Which you don't even really have to do, I would assume. Hey, lights. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. New blueprint acquired. Is that it? I thought there was a prawn suit thing. More thermal plant. What is it's a broken radio? Aha! Here we go. Torpedo arm. It'll be a while yet before we have this. That's one of two. The other one I think is here. Yeah, it's right there. So we have the torpedo arm, but not the suit itself. New blueprint acquired. This big chunk of lead or whatever it is, that's something that the prawn suit can only break. And a very specific 30 seconds. attachment to it. See, this is why this vehicle is awesome. You don't even have to worry about the surface. 200 meters becomes the surface. And it gives you a nice time to look at stuff, one of which... 
I want to change the color of the sea moth to bright gold. That way it's easier to find against all the blues and greens of the game. Since it is basically what's keeping us alive down here. Uh, whoops. Yeah, you can toggle on and off the waypoints too. So even old ones that are complete, if you wanted them back, you could turn them back on. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I was stupid the first time. I just kept trying to go straight. Oh yeah, right here. This is the easy one. That other crater that we saw. Warning. Maximum oh, depth crap. reached. Hull damage imminent. Well, we avoided it. Still got that wrench plus 100. So we'll just shine the light as close as we can. And now that the sea glide, it's pretty much useful for the rest of the game. It's. I think I said the sea moth is better, but yeah, this thing doesn't go out of use just because of it. Ah, oh, crap. This stuff's taking a while to load in. Integrating new PDA data. Eye stock. You can knife this. This has a purpose, I think. But I don't know what it is. These things, I might take damage here. <laughs> that sound clip. I don't know, something about it's funny. Oh yeah. There's all kinds of good stuff down here. Ultra high capacity tank. That might be... A modification station thing meaning we need something else still before we can even craft that Signal location uploaded to PDA integrating new PDA data is that a new waypoint holy crap look at this wait what is this too power cell charger that's awesome but I would also like just a regular battery charger because we could make use of that now power cells we're not really rolling too deep with Rubies are very good. This is pretty much about as far as I played on my own time. I remember struggling with this life pod because I was using the waypoint and not the geography to find it. So I tried approaching it from some ridiculous way. I don't even know what I did. I want this though. This plus a ruby creates something. 30 seconds. Oh crap. Just get the scan, grab it, and sea glide to the sea moth. See why I wanted it bright gold? Okay. Water. We could chug something down, but we could wait a tiny bit more. I feel like there's more yet to be found down here. We didn't complete the charger. What's this? Limestone. Yeah, the deeper you go, that's basically how this game operates. The deeper you go, the more rare the pickups you find, which of course then lead to the most advanced crafting things. So already the ruby and the gel sack or whatever. That creates some kind of cushiony gel thing, I think. What is this? Ah, it's just sandstone. There's still something else that we've yet to see. Wait, is this it? It is shale. A diamond. Remember the materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. What a bunch of crap! Rather just drown than be in debt by some theoretical man-made garbage. They're like, nah, don't even come rescue me. I'm, I'm fine in my little underwater world. Although they would cut off all the stuff we're crafting, I guess. The flashlight does look like a hair dryer, which is funny since all hair dryers have the don't put it in the bathtub warning on it. Yeah. Wait, is this. Was it two or three? I'm not paying attention. Ooh. That'll be handy one day, as the lithium I just picked up will be. I think we found all the good stuff that we could down there. Oh man, perfect too. The inventory's full. I mean, we could use the water. We 
might be able to make it back, actually. Let's just rise up. I like that crater. See, this is good stuff. I like having this little submarine going on these ocean adventures. And there's our buddy again. Anyway. Gotta go clean up the inventory. Okay, here we go. Gel sack and ruby creates arrow gel. It's a whole new category, advanced things. So I don't know what we're gonna use that for yet, but we have it. Okay, I did some farming for resources. We can now craft this thing, the moon pool. So our Seamoth battery worries. Whoops, wrong button, I guess. I haven't really messed with this too much. So yeah, hold X. I think it's like left click on PC. And there it is. This is as far as I went. Minus five to base strength. So yeah, we gotta craft things that actually improve it. But yeah, this thing has no power. You need to have a power source. And I didn't do this when I was messing around on my own. So immediately, let's do the solar panel. Because otherwise it serves no purpose. I tried parking the sea moth in here and it wasn't working. But that's because it had no power. Uh, let's rotate it. Looks like the sun's this After way. Weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Power restored. All primary systems online. There we go. That charge up noise is just super satisfying. It's like fulfilling two dreams. Welcome aboard. The awesome underwater life. And being able to breathe underwater because. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, it's cool, man. I like that animation. Now it's charging. It only brought it down to 90, though. So we didn't even really use too much battery. And easy access to the upgrade station, which that's a whole other thing we gotta craft. That's awesome, dude. It's our first room of the base. Okay. I've been doing a lot of farming to build this stuff, but let's add a little hatch. I created another little compartment attached to the moon pool. That's another minus one to base strength. But we can go in here now. How awesome is this? So not only can we breathe forever underwater, theoretically, because we're sitting in the safety of our homes playing this game, but we can also have our own little starship base. Thus, two dreams in one, like I was saying before. Systems online. Definitely awesome. Let's get some food and water for our trip. Okay. So Life Pod 19 spawned this rendezvous point. Hard to see in the sunlight here. Dry land. I forgot that these two were linked. So this is a whole big thing related to the story. This now, I mean, this is gonna, every episode, we're like, this is the furthest we're gonna be. It's like, no crap, it's a whole ocean. I gotta keep reiterating the obvious. That's good stuff. While we're going this whole way, let's listen to what the LifePod19 people said. I like that noise, the breakup and the feedback. Check this out. Some kind of floating island that doesn't even stretch deep to the surface. 
awesome, uh, would it be flora? I'll scan it. Ancient floater. That's like the kind of stuff you see in fast food bathrooms. Unfortunately. See, you come here for a good time and you get a lame poop joke. I don't know, man. I like how that stuff wraps around that little... It's like festive flora. Or something. See, like, even though I watched a video... I don't know every inch of this map, so it's still kind of cool seeing it. Like, if I was in this thing in real life, I'd be having the time of my life just... ...driving it around. But this is definitely intriguing, this whole dry land bit. We do have a sprint and a jump button. Oh, wait a minute. There's a PDA over here. Which might be the one that triggers the next thing in this chain of whatever. Integrating new PDA data. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Surface. That was weird. I can't see. Why did it have to be nighttime now? Well, let's listen. Keen, this Wait. is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. We already I listened to that one. That's the wrong one. The rendezvous is what we want. We have to board the Aurora. Repair the long-range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. So yeah, these people... I think on this island, we're about to find more and more. It's like a whole... Saga with this particular life pod or whatever. Running out of flashlight battery. We're below half. I hate that you can't sprint and have the light on at the same time. That's kind of stupid. But this is one of the only spots in the game where I think you can find all these plants. A lot of which you can knife and then bring back to your own base. And grow in little garden pots and stuff. Which I think the blueprint for all of that kind of stuff is in here somewhere. Or on here, I should say. I wish the sun would come back. That'd be nice. Although, I like how Mars is just kind of hovering up there or something that looks like it. I bought this weird watermelon juice in the organic section at the store. It's called like Sama or Sama. T-S-A-M-M-A. -M -M I don't know if you've had it before. It was weird. It simultaneously tastes like actual watermelon juice, not like the artificial stuff when you get, but like if you're eating a real watermelon, the juice that falls out of it, if you ever like drink what remains when it's all gone, I do that, I don't know. That's what this tastes like, but it also tastes like grass. In a way, I find that appropriate. With Wandering Lost among these Grassy shrubs. What is this? Jaffa cup. Jaffa? Isn't that a treat over in England? Those little uh, chocolate things filled with the orange. I think it's filled with all kinds of stuff. I don't know, that organic section. It tempts me. I walk by it and it's got all this weird stuff you never heard of before. 
And every now and then you see like a half off sticker. I'm like, all right, I'll try the weird thing. Sometimes you find good stuff. Other times you get the taste of grass in your mouth and it's, it's fantastic, it's what it is. Especially because it was a bargain. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling nonsense. Ah, oh, here we go. Some... Hey, what the? Whoops, I cut a whole bunch of the shrubs. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to knife these things. Well, we could bring it back, store it in the junk locker for now until we can plant our own things. Got him. All right. Now with the scan, at least. They don't do too much damage. They're like those little biter things, but on land. I can't see a thing. Why does it feel like this particular night is never-ending? So far, the day-night cycle has seemed pretty rapid. Oh, wait a minute. It, is it lighting up? Yeah, I think the sun is coming up finally. That's good. Because we still haven't found the main point of interest of this thing. I lied. This is as far as I got playing on my own. Actually, I got here in that live stream. Okay, well, at least these are baby seeds. Some of them take up like four or six slots. Signal location uploaded to PDA. There we go. Proposed Degasi habitat. New PDA data. So that's our new waypoint. Yeah, this whole Degasi thing, it's a trophy, an achievement in the game and everything. It's like some former, like, we're the Aurora. I think the Degasi was something that happened before us. Unless it really is just... Either way, it's some other vessel beyond just a life pod. Uh, I think we could jump this. Yeah! It only feels like Turok or Tomb Raider or something. There we go, there it is. Cool view too, and there's something up there which I don't know how to get to. Just taking advantage of the fact that this is a game built around underwater movement, and so like all of this kind of stuff. There is fall damage, but it seems pretty easy to bypass like what other games would be clear death. Here we go, something new. Stasis rifle. Haven't messed with this at all yet. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. We could definitely start building our base now once we get this scanned. Yeah. What the heck, man? I was scanning. Get out of here. See that purple tablet on the floor? That's a big story thing, too. I think it gets its own little brief cutscene because it's so special. These things need to go away. Can you crouch? Oh, whoops, that created a screenshot. I've been playing the long dark and pressing the right thumbstick in makes you crouch. Anyway, scan this first before picking it up and I wanna finish the scan of this thing, which started over, thanks, stupid little crab things. I like the radiation suit. You notice the arm is different now? We got gloves, before we didn't. Blueprint acquired. Yeah, so we just kind of marvel at it, wondering what it's all about. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, voice log number four. There's a whole chain of them. New blueprint acquired. Huh? If you really wanted to listen, here we go. Grow bed. Exterior, though. There's an interior one that you could put in your base. New blueprint acquired. 
But these things, Chinese potato, and I think what's next to it, marble melon. Both of these fulfill hunger and thirst. So if you didn't want to waste your time hunting down fish and using the fabricator, you could grow these and just pick them. And whenever you need it, just chomp down. I mean, water, you still pretty much need. So that would be nice, but they seem to be a dry land thing. So with the exterior grow but bed, I don't know that we could grow them underwater. Huh? And I don't know where the interior one is, unless it's in here somewhere. Jerk blocking the doorway. Not anymore. Supply crate. Battery. Nice. Voice log number two. Integrating new PDA data. Was this number one? Yeah. Integrating new PDA data. Whoa. I used the ladder and it was instantaneous. Yes, what is this? Ultra glide fins. I think those are a modification station thing. Spotlight? Yes. We're getting all the stuff for building our own thing. Okay. So there's that other thing way up on the other cliff. I don't know how to get to it. I would like to. Another uh, snack huh? here, and I'm just gonna wander around, trying to find how to get up to that thing. But otherwise, we will just be heading back with our new blueprints huh? and probably begin crafting our own base. This is a cool tree. I like it. Kind of like Japanese looking. this apart I put another hatch on here or a, a tube and a hatch but I want to do the multi multi-purpose room now that we have it sorry stumbling on my words because I've been quiet farming for things for a while so I'm learning how to talk again well, let's get closer to the life pod that way we can go back and forth between the two as needed we'll put the tube on this side I think it'll connect. Yeah! And now, the multi-purpose room. And hopefully we can put something cool in there. Either way, we're gonna be finding stuff to put in it. Awesome. But our base strength is it weak. Be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. I want it to be my home, stupid robot lady. <laughs> that reminds me of time splitters. Uh, the grow bed we could do, but I kind of want the inside one. Bulkhead would probably add reinforcement. I don't know how it works, though. There is a reinforcement panel, which might add some defense. But for now, let's see what it looks like. Pretty sweet. 
Speaking of time splitters, kind of reminds me of Mac Map Maker a little bit. Boss, let's do some lockers. We could do the big one, but that stands. And I don't know if I want to do that yet. Let's just do a wall locker. Has way better storage than that little floating thing that we have out there. So now our other favorite thing, organization, can be become a thing. We could have one all for copper and so on and so forth. For now we'll put our potato that we want to grow. And I think that's really it of my stuff here that I want in there. Can edit the name too, just like before. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm struggling with this foundation thing. But I want it, because it adds defense to the whole thing. I don't have the resources to finish it. But yeah, let's hope that that works. And then, attached to it, let's do the scanner room. I could farm for this resource stuff too, and I'll cut it out. Just like I've been doing for all this other stuff. Yeah, the reinforcement thing would be nice, too. Uh, there we go. This will be a vital thing. I think it'll show you where all, like, the sandstone and things are. It's looking like a base with a weird foundation. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I think we need to add more power sources, though. Because all these rooms... It's surely not going to be able to power at all. So let's do another solar panel, which I also need more copper to do. We'll get it all set up. I like that you can set it up before you can fully finish it. Oh, that's kind of neat. So back to farming. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, it's done. Almost looked like it was gonna lock up for a second. But we've got a scanner room. And a weird foundation and a whole bunch of stuff. And the only entrance right now is through the moon pool, but whatever. Lots of room for lockers. What a nifty thing. I haven't seen this before. I knew of it, but I like how the menus you actually interact with, too. Stalker Tooth, there you go. Although Sandstone Chunk right now would probably be better. I don't even know how this really works. Can't move the cameras. Pretty cool, though. I like it. I guess it shows on the map, but yeah, there's a HUD chip, so it can display on our normal day-to-day -day whatever range and speed upgrade. So yeah, like literally everything in this game can be upgraded in some form or another. I think I could do... I don't know if this is going to work. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong button. A hatch without a compartment? It, it seems like it's working. Yeah, it created like a little tiny one tile hall. Sweet, now we have an entrance right by the life pod that leads to the multi-purpose room and then the scanner room, which I have gold and silver on me for uh, the speed upgrade. I think we have to manually put it in here, which is kind of just a neat thing. I like, I guess that starship, starship dream that I was talking about before, even though it's underwater. So I guess it would be like a submarine base. The HUD chip would be the next thing because this little map doesn't really help much. What else was there? Range, that would be good. I guess you could do multiple scanner rooms 
in like the far off areas of the game. Yeah, I don't even know what magnetite is. So I guess that's the next thing. Well, we do have that other waypoint about the Degasi, whatever, so I guess next time... I like the little animations going in and out of the thing. Yeah, next time we will take the Seamoth and go see what that's all about. Thanks for watching. See you then.